In a world overflowing with distractions, where the incessant allure of social media beckons us into a perpetual state of scrolling, it's no wonder many find themselves struggling to focus on tasks that truly matter. The incessant need for stimulation is deeply rooted in the evolutionary history of our brains, and understanding this can be the key to breaking free from the cycle of procrastination. Our brains, despite the technological marvel surrounding us, remain remarkably unchanged over thousands of years. They evolved for survival. And at the heart of this survival mechanism is the neurotransmitter dopamine. Far from just a feel-good chemical, dopamine serves as a potent motivator, urging us to seek out rewards and pleasurable experiences. Consider the ancestral triggers that once signaled survival, like spotting an antelope on the horizon. The release of dopamine in response to such stimuli motivated our ancestors to pursue these activities essential for survival. Fast forward to the present, and the stimuli have evolved, but the underlying mechanism remains the same. Social media notifications, with their unpredictable bursts of information, are the modern-day antelope, hijacking our attention and triggering the same ancient reward pathways. Understanding the role of dopamine is crucial. It's not just about feeling good, it's about motivation. Dopamine is released in anticipation of a reward, driving our actions and decisions. This mechanism, once vital for survival, is now being exploited by the supernormal stimuli that saturate our modern environment. We live in a world filled with supernormal stimuli carefully crafted to be as pleasurable as possible. From the relentless allure of social media to the hyperpalatable offerings of junk food, these stimuli hijack our natural reward pathways, creating an almost irresistible urge to pursue them. The problem lies in the fact that our brains, designed for a time of scarcity, are now bombarded with an excess of these highly stimulating cues. Consider junk food, a perfect example of a supernormal stimulus. Loaded with fats, sugars, and salts in concentrations far beyond what our ancestors encountered in nature, these foods trigger an exaggerated release of dopamine. The result? An intense reward signal that surpasses what real, nutritious foods can provide. It's no wonder we find ourselves reaching for that bag of chips instead of a piece of fruit, our brains are wired to seek out the most rewarding option. So, how do we break free from this cycle of overstimulation and reprogram our brains to find pleasure in less stimulating but crucial activities? It starts with a conscious effort to reduce exposure to supernormal stimuli. Reflect on the amount of stimulation in your life, from the constant barrage of social media notifications to the hyper-processed foods in your diet. Acknowledge the impact these stimuli have on your motivation and overall well-being. I speak from personal experience. During a camping trip, far away from the incessant buzz of notifications, I found joy in simple activities, a quiet walk in nature, the warmth of a campfire, and genuine connections with others. It was a stark contrast to the overstimulated reality I had grown accustomed to. Similarly, I faced my own challenges during quarantine, succumbing to the grip of internet addiction, which inevitably took a toll on my work ethic. So, here's a challenge for you, and for myself. Let's consciously reduce the supernormal stimuli in our lives. Take breaks from social media limit processed foods, and engage in low-stimulus activities. Instead of reaching for your phone during moments of boredom, try reading a book, taking a walk, or practicing mindfulness. The goal is to reset our baseline for pleasure, finding contentment in the simplicity of everyday life. But this isn't just a short-term fix. It's about reshaping our relationship with stimuli for the long haul. The solution lies in genuinely enjoying tasks that contribute to personal growth and well-being. When we find pleasure in meaningful activities, the motivation to pursue them becomes intrinsic. 
As I embark on this challenge, I invite you to join me. Assess your stimulation levels, consciously reduce unnecessary stimuli, and prioritize activities that bring genuine joy and fulfillment. It's a journey of self-discovery and rewiring, but the rewards are worth it, increased motivation, improved focus, and a deeper connection to the things that truly matter. Before we part ways, I'd like to recommend Skillshare as an alternative to the overstimulating content that saturates our online spaces. Skillshare offers practical and affordable courses that empower you to learn new skills and engage in meaningful activities. It's a refreshing break from the constant barrage of social media and a step towards investing your time in activities that truly contribute to your growth. If you found this challenge intriguing, if you resonate with the struggle to focus on important tasks, I encourage you to like, subscribe, and join me on this journey. Share your experiences in the comments below, and let's build a community committed to reprogramming our brains for a more focused, fulfilling life. And don't forget to check out my second channel for more content that aligns with this mission. Let's take control of our brains, break free from the chains of overstimulation, and discover the joy of genuinely enjoying the tasks that lead to our personal and collective growth. Please go ahead liking, subscribing, and sharing with friends to support our channel. Before you go, help us by smashing that YouTube like button. And subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss any of our videos. This shows YouTube algorithm that you value our information. And it helps us spread the message. Sharing is caring.